In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the difference between Adalo versus V1. Now, if you're not familiar with either one, Adalo is a platform where you can be creating apps very quickly and you can use templates and all of these things and we'll go through a bunch of the features, but this is Adalo. The other one is V1 and their promise is build your app easily. No code, no learning curve, and and yes, it's an app. So let's let's take a look at the difference. So first of all, Adalo, what do they have? What makes this special, this platform? To me, it's the templates and how easy it is to get started. I like this, how I can pick out a template of what I'm looking for, coaching app, ordering, whatever. And then right when I get started, when I log in, I can start using that template. And this helps me because sometimes I just get too overwhelmed to start from scratch. And I'm just looking for a framework to get started. And so a lot of these templates, nine times out of 10, it fits into one of the, the different categories that people want to create for an app or to test their idea. And so for me, I usually start with Adalo and start with one of these templates and go from there. Even before I get started, I write down on a piece of paper, what do I want to accomplish? And then I find a template that kind of resembles like what I was thinking about. And then I, I, I go from there. Also, let's log in. I'm just gonna show you briefly some of the features that Adalo has that are just a game changer for me. Number one, it's just the breakdown of after I'm using a template or it already allows me to sh see like each page and how it progresses, right? Right. So like sign up, what's going to happen, all of those things. And to me, it reminds me of sketch, but this allows me instead of just having a, the visual components. Now this can just be an app. So that's what I really like about it. If I need to redirect something, I can change the flow. I can select what, the next progression is i just really like that also too easily i can see the branding the screens and something to keep in mind and this is a major difference with a lot of platforms but especially when we're comparing for v1 right here this allows me to build out the databases in the relations of how the database works for example if i have users logging in what's going to happen with the you know different categories what i'm going to be doing with that it's all built in right here. So then I can have the logic and the relationships all from Adalo right here. I don't have to have any other integration. I don't need Airtable. I can do everything right here. And so that's a huge plus to me. So this is just a few things that I like about Adalo. Also too, I can preview, share, do all of these things right, right here. It's great stuff. Also to the components right here, I can drag and drop, you know, text buttons. And there's another video I have that's going to be in the description down below. It's for a dollar for beginners, just, you know, going into the platform and, you know, the basics. But these are just some things that a dollar has that I really think are special. Now, what's the difference when we're looking at V1? To me, for V1, I am looking at what it has on the inside. Now, keep in mind, I have another video of breakdown of V1 inside. So I'm just talking about it. But you see right here where it's talking about like popular buttons, images, and all these things. I view this as a great app wrapper or something where I just need a, everything put together, but it's it's not I can't do it on platform platform. For example, I can have I can have a database, but it has to integrate with well, it's using Airtable, right? So it's not using it from V1. They're using Airtable. If I'm looking at this and I, I want to use something like it says connect Webflow, Shopify, e-commerce, or Airtable. I have to start with $79 per month. To me, if I'm already gonna spend for Airtable, Webflow, all those things, I'm not going to pay $79 for just a uh, an app wrapper that will just put everything together. Because if I'm looking at this for Shopify or WooCommerce, if I got a Shopify or Woo WooCommerce, I would just go for an app wrapper. I wouldn't pay monthly. I would find something on an, an, um, probably Code Canyon or something like that and just wrap it myself, I wouldn't pay monthly. For the Airtable integration, I would probably use Softer or I would use Pori.io. I wouldn't just use uh, V1 because again, I'm bringing in that information, but what past that? Where it says Canva integration, it's great that it can bring in images, stuff like that. But to me, I see this as being very limited and it's pretty expensive. $79 for these types selling memberships, 
okay, but I would go with Podia instead and have a full uh, product suite and a full business on that. Yeah. Um, and then it says QVC like streaming. Okay, so if I'm just streaming, I can easily just, I can do so many things with using Restream or other things or just using my YouTube channel and having it unlisted and then having it go to a website and app wrap it and save. This is almost a thousand dollars a month. You could do that with app, uh, you could do that with YouTube and a WordPress site and then just wrap it. I could do that for $300 all in then almost close to a thousand dollars per month. So there's just a couple things. I, they're new, they're just getting started all those things. But for me, I haven't found that this platform is beneficial for any case studies that I've used for myself or my clients. Again, I ask people if, 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 if I'm missing something or if you, you know, I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting, but they're new. But for me, a dollar all day, there's very specific cases why I would use a dollar and where I'd start. But again, that's found in other videos in the one against bubble I've done or a dollar for beginners. Uh, what I'm probably going to do next and I think is more a better comp is if I need to decide if I'm going to use softer or a dollar. So in an upcoming video, we're going to do a comparison of a dollar versus softer because I think this then becomes a discussion of how fast, what's the learning curve, and then what you're looking to do. But for the most part, if I wanna have the most flexibility in a very powerful app builder, I'm gonna go with Adalo. That's probably the top of my list. If I want full abilities, I need to do something very detailed, then I would go up to Bubble. But again, we go back into the learning curve, you know, what is this an MVP or your testing concept? How long will it take you to learn bubble? All of those things. But I find that Adalo is a really good middle ground and the UUI, the UX UI component, top notch. So let me know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. If you're interested in an Adalo versus softer video, I'll do that in the upcoming video. And again, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.